All right. This is Judge Creer. It looks like we have everybody here, I think, maybe. Um, we're here on 20 CA 3678, Ascar versus Donald. Um, Mr. Lahan, you're here for the plaintiff? Yes, Your Honor. Good morning. All right. Mr. Perlman, you're here for Mr. Donald. Is that correct? Uh, yes, ma'am. Good morning, Judge. Good morning. All right. So this is your motion to strike. So go ahead. Uh, thank you. May it please the court. Uh, Alan Perlman, on behalf of the defendant, Judge, we represent Congressman Donald's representative of Florida's 18th uh, um, Congressional District. Uh, this concerns the complaint that was commenced in November of last year. And this is our motion under Rule 1.150 to be uh, stricken as a sham. And as we articulated or tried to in our moving papers, the legal standard is that the complaint is false in fact. Um, well, how am I supposed to determine that when this is not set for a evidentiary hearing? Well, I judge that's a fair question. I, I think because the, the facts, if you will, in terms of what we've provided are not in dispute. Uh, Your Honor entered an order, um, I believe, on May 2nd, and that required full and complete answers what we're relying on are their full and complete answers uh in compliance with the court's order what they provided is not in dispute what they said is verified it's it's their statements um so i, I think that we could proceed sort of like a summary judgment if you will right but wouldn't this have to this would have to be uh, noticed as an evidentiary hearing I mean, I, I, you're asking me to strike a pleading not based on, for example, failure to comply with discovery or something like that, but based on uh, uh, that the allegations are false. So to do that, I have to have evidence and to consider evidence, it has to be noticed as an evidentiary hearing. Judge, now, I, I don't have a problem if everybody's okay proceeding in that manner, but it doesn't look to me like it was noticed that way. Well, and then, you know, I apologize if, if that's a concern, but there's uh, been it's, it's no, again, I, I'm, I've got the time, so I'm happy well, to proceed, but Mr. Lahan, do you want to proceed and, and consider this evidentiary? Uh, no judge. In fact, uh, I've got some case law, uh, directly on point. Uh, you, you're correct in observing that this needed to be noticed as an evidentiary hearing and it was not, uh, that would be the Belson case in the rule itself. Uh, and I also object to this going forward because Mr. Perlman is essentially asking the court to make factual determinations when he has been repeatedly blocking me from conducting discovery. So it would be premature for the court to make those rulings when I've been trying to take Mr. Donald's deposition, for example, and Mr. Perlman has repeatedly refused to present well, him for I, deposition. I, I, I entered an order to some effect with regard to discovery so as soon as right but the problem is is we now have mr donald's testifying twice once in an affidavit that's been filed in the court file and now secondarily in a verified motion which is sworn to under oath he has now testified twice but he refuses to present himself for a deposition so well here, here's here's there's i have two issues here number one this is not noticed as an evidentiary proceeding I can't proceed unless it is, unless Mr. Lahan agrees that we can proceed as an evidentiary proceeding. He's not agreeing to that. Therefore, I cannot proceed because you are asking me to consider evidence. That evidence may be in the form of the plaintiff's own statements, but that's still evidence. Or it may be in the form of an affidavit from Mr. Donalds, but that's still evidence. So I, I can't procedurally proceed today without, without that having occurred. Also, I just wonder if this is the the most appropriate way for the court to be considering the issues that you've raised. Again, that's a strategic decision on your part, but I, you know, uh, I, 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 as, as Mr. Lahan has raised, I'm not exactly sure whether this is the appropriate time or methodology for considering these issues, but again, your strategy. Okay. So all I'm going to do is have you um, reschedule it. Um, you'll have to get a date and time from my, judicial assistant. And because I know that it's so important to Mr. Lahan, we are opening the courtroom up to in-person uh, proceedings. Um, I will have certain date. You have to schedule those through my judicial assistant though. 
Uh, I, we don't have the te uh, technology to do a combination of in-person and Zoom, so it either has to be one or the other. I'm happy to do it by Zoom. I think it's better for the clients, but I'm also happy to do it in person, but it has to be scheduled through my judicial assistant. Um, so yeah. knock yourself out. Jeff, Jeff, one other open issue we do have, since we do have a little bit of additional time now, uh, it, we filed a motion for clarification of the discovery order that you entered. Uh, back wow, on motion for rehearing. Motion for rehearing or clarification because the paragraph one of the paragraphs yeah, I've the already order. reviewed it. I'm going to be issuing a denial. Oh, okay. So yep. it, in that respect, then judge, I guess my other question would be, um, I, I'm Ori tennis asking that I be allowed to take Mr. Donald's deposition now that he's testified twice under oath in court filings. Well, would the I, court I suspect prefer that, that I file a motion. I suspect that it violates this order, but I don't really know. You'll have to file a motion because I, you know, that's not something that I've considered. I have reviewed your motion. I did determine that I was going to deny it and I'll issue an order to that effect. I'm not required to have a hearing on it. Um, so I'll get that out to you probably today or tomorrow. But um, other than that, please file your motion and let me, uh, you can set it for a hearing or, I mean, if it's if it's a short motion, you can set it for a hearing on my regular Jack scheduling docket, which is a, which is all Zoom. Or if you want it in person, you can contact my JA to schedule that. I'll make a short motion, Judge. Thank you. Okay.